Hi, hello friends. Welcome to SPV Education World. Together, we create a better world. If you are not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, my, my dear friends. Here, we are providing all the courses in four languages, my dear friends. It is the first ever world's multilingual education world where you learn for the all competitive exams from UPSC or VAO to the from the ground level of any competitive exams to the final level of IAS, the highest, most educational qualification where you settle in your most precious job and all the courses is been provided here i also planning for the more topics and more interesting subjects everything in a clear manner but the still a one person is working on it so that i'm planning to go live to you my dear friends so if any mistakes kindly adjust and also friends if you are willing to contribute through paytm you can contribute here is my paytm number so that you can contribute it to friends already i had got my first contribution after working for four months long and 158 videos i got first contribution contribution it is rupees five rupees that was the pay i got now and also thanks to ram Somi. he is the one who's stepping stone to the greater success for me it is a greater boosting actually if a five crore car doesn't value much to the ambani but a still a simple a single penny of five rupees bun or cake means a lot to the girl who is standing alone so this money is most precious thing so i'm not i'm also the from the same rural background working hard for your success and my success okay friends together we collaborate and work on from now onwards those who are donating the money also i'll put primarily i'll put those who are donated and the value they had donated okay friends thank you thanks for supporting me and also all the subscribers who have been slowly growing up i'm also most thankful to them everyone okay friends now we shall see with our revisions which means quick revision i will say what are all that past actually in the past video i didn't revise the topic so now i thought i will revise quickly just a overview and we go through the topics okay friends see here we are seeing the ancient history uh, history of ancient india which is most prevent uh, mostly important for your all competitive exam preparations like upsc group 1 and ssc and whatever the exams you prepare if you are going to classes you may pay lakhs of money and they teach around 3 to 4 hours for you subjects sorry friends somebody's vendor is going so you may get disturbance Okay, it's cool. Now we shall see here, friends. We had seen what are all the different uh, syllabus and what are all the topics present in the prehistory or ancient India. And next we come to the what are all the sources we learned, literary sources, archaeological sources, and these things. And next we see the prehistoric age. Prehistoric age means before the written evidences, how the people lived and how the history is divided, and how now the and important places and how the lifestyle is there. And we had seen what is prehistoric prehistoric age and we have now come to paleolithic age paleolithic age means three stages old stone age and how the people lived there and we had subdivided into lower paleolithic and which period and how humans lived what are all the stones they used and sites which belong to them next middle paleolithic and then we come to the upper paleolithic then we had covered the paleolithic culture how the cultures are that there are two cultures so one culture and aquilian cultures so one is in most northwest india and aquilian culture is in the southernmost india and next we had seen how the lifestyle have been continued for them in their day-to-day -day lives and images and everything we had learned and now we came to mesolithic age which was in the previous class we had dealt and the basics of the mesolithic age and geographical distribution and the settlements how do they follow the pattern and the society how the mesolithic people lived there and recreational habitats how they had developed how they first domesticated the dog and the burials they had started and how they lived from the slowly starting to the settled form of agriculture and how the domestication has been being and we also seen the microliths the stones which are small size they had developed and also the pottery which has been largely developed there and the settled agriculture agriculture was been slowly developing and painting has been started in mesolithic in the efficient manner and now we had seen that uh, neolithic age and neolithic age we had seen the basics and the societies they lived and the settlements how they were and how the neolithic age started new stone age tools how they polished and also the agriculture the where the agriculture neolithic agriculture was prevalent in indus gangetic west india and southern india and also the pottery how they developed and the burials it was how it was provided you can see through the image and the arts ornaments and burials and next important are sites in the neolithic age period and now we have here come to the chalcolithic age chalcolithic age what is it chalco means it's a copper and so lithic means stone so here the basics we learned here is from here we go slow whatever i said first is quick revisions we'll see a quick revisions of the past topics we want to read okay friends now we shall see here chalcolithic age its basics here i will go slow from here okay friends here chalcolithic means chalco means copper 
analytic means stone they had been using copper and stone as a metal for the day to day life and everything so it is called as a chalcolithic age copper stone age and the first metal the human started using is copper and its alloy is bronze are also been used so they had started a modern mechanical engineering now we are doing uh, day to day courses of 4 year 12 years of education and 4 years of course and then we go and work as a certain specialist uh, engineers but in that period itself they had developed modernizing of bronze making and alloy makings it's a great improvement and interesting things we have, must know from them my dear friends and now mark the transition of stone age to metal age here is the transition chalcolithic age is the transition from the stone age to the metal age okay in south india this chalcolithic phase is considered as a neolithic and chalcolithic phase because here all the stone age and chalcolithic copper usage has been parallelly running which means certain locations still the people are and neolithic people have been surviving in the south india so it was been both combined phase they were read in our books okay now we shall see how the society was there in a chalcolithic age the society is of farming hunting was most prevalent and the settlements were slowly nucleated which means uh, separated and uh, individual homes has been developed there where they were living as a community in one home or one together now slowly my family my own relations my thing this has been slowly developing and also this is the beginning of the social inequalities so here whenever you nucleate everywhere you stay or certain communities they divided now we are seeing all the caste communities different aerial communities regional communities these things why it developed is from this period the social inequalities has been developed and also people did not know writing yeah chalcolithic they never know writing you know that my dear friends here there's no any writing evidences only in the iron age during vedic literature we had developed the writing skills and these things okay we shall see the fishing meat form as a staple diet the main food is fish and meat and also they started producing the cotton see sorry cotton in deccan okay my dear friends remember this cotton first was introduced or developed during the chalcolithic age they also knew spinning and weaving so they used cloth see here in the image they are wearing some part of semi naked dress they are wearing but they are were having a little address that is they know the spinning and weaving culture now we shall see the settlements settlements is developed in the regions of central india and deccan which means in deccan and central india they are slowly starting a settlement systems and first village system in india is during a chalcolithic age okay my dear friend during the chalcolithic age only they started a first village system as a group of villages they started been developing chalcolithic thick period did not use bricks yeah friends they used stones and mud bricks not no burnt bricks were burnt bricks were used and their walls were constructed of mud they used just as mud and wattel and they constructed the walls and the uh, house they live and next houses are either circular shape or rectangular shape i already said we know that it is circular shape or now slowly rectangular shape is there. in the previous class we had seen that neolithic and mesolithic there is only circular and oval shape of house now they are improving themselves and rectangular shape of house has been developed inam goan is yielded the evidences of circular pit house see this inam goan is a place where the circular pit house evidence has been found okay my dear friend now we shall come to the uh, different types of cultures existed during the chalcolithic age this is most important thing you must be knowing my dear friend we shall see here chalcolithic culture has a different culture inbuilt in it i will zoom it so that you will be clearly seeing this okay yeah here there are six seven cultures during the chalcolithic age kayathar culture is located near madhya pradesh it is around 2000 to 1800 bc here they used fortified settlements it is found in which place it is balatal balatal is a place where they had found kayata culture in madhya pradesh remember this instead of knowing this sub topic sub headings um, many words remember this culture where does it had been existed this type of questions will be mostly asked in upsc and group 1 there are less possibilities in other in the subordinate exams okay we shall see here pottery pottery is red slipped ware painted with designs and chocolate a uh, chocolate color has been used see they had been using colors and for the pottery and these things here you can see the chalcolithic age pottery which i image i had been provided 
and red painted buff wear is also most prevalent during this pottery this uh, kayata culture and also combined wear bearing incised pattern has been also developed during that period next we shall see ahar banas culture ahar banas culture is existed in rajasthan region remember this whenever you get ahar banas culture is during a chalcolithic period and its prevalence is in rajasthan okay my friends am i going speed okay i'll reduce a little bit now a larger than other settlements see rajasthan ahar or banas settlements it is a larger settlement than other settlements if you are considering together next pottery which is prevalent black or red ware with white designs is mostly higher and next malwa culture malwa culture is in mp maharashtra and these things and major settlements are in narmada valley navdotli and nagada these are all the places where you see malwa culture malwa is a plateau which is below the aravalli river and above the maharashtra it will be close to that circle area so you can locate it if you are having map you can see it my dear friends now we shall see pottery it is thick buffed suffer surface designed in red or black so in malwa plateau they used either red or black pottery in high level next wheat and barley is highly grown in this malwa region or maharashtra region the year is been provided 1700 to 1200 bc between this period they have been surviving and next savalda culture savalda culture okay savalda culture is during 2300 bc to 2000 bc here nothing more about that savalda culture now jorve culture jorve culture is located in nasik remember the place a nasik jorve culture is highly it is also in maharashtra i think so next jorve is a village situated in the paravara river remember this jorve culture is along the river of paravara like this statement questions can be possibly asked for your examinations next we come to the pottery painted black on red and matte surface whatever you see during a chalcolithic period mostly it will be black and red ware or of pottery so you can go blindly for that selection so okay, can now i come here friends jorve culture in nasik it is a settlements between stable and widespread these settlements are a little bit stable and it is widely distributed next we see here prabhas culture it is <laughs> prabhas not is an it is not an hero it's a culture lustrous red ware is found used during prabhas culture and rangpur culture it is 1700 bc to 1400 bc which means all existed during the chalcolithic age you just remember a chalcolithic age subdivisions of the different cultures presence during this age of period now gujarat it is in gujarat and lustrous red ware is highly present in it okay now we come to here pottery if you come to the pottery first to use painted pottery is starting during chalcolithic period only now we know chalcolithic period is the first start of a painted pottery and also first start of settlement and settled uh, living and agriculture is during a uh, mesolithic age and also domestication started during mesolithic like that pottery started mostly uh, painted pottery pottery is already started in neolithic only but painted pottery is highly prevalent during this chalcolithic age wheel made fine pottery yeah see here now wheel has been developed during the chalcolithic so they developed fine pottery during the chalcolithic culture and it also given a fine red orange and russet colors so they had giving different colors and also they are giving designs also floral designs vegetable designs animal designs and bird fish motifs different types of decorations has been they done along the pottery so that it looks a beautiful even nowadays you can see the pots they showcase in different places which will be highly decorated for your good looking conditions and next we shall see black and red ware it is fine appearance in chalcolithic chalcolithic sites only i already said i had already said now we shall come to the ornaments ornaments means they used beads see here they had started using ornaments like beads calcedony jasper agate carnelian these are all the uh, different types of uh, ornamental some precious stones they used also they used carbon beads bangles and anklets yeah anklets for the common see here in this image i'll show here this round shaped things are there no here round shaped things are called as a beads we can consider the circular uh, they uh, in in between their uh, skeleton there is a circular thing this is a bangles we know everyone so this type of decorations has been done with the people actually it is the uh, dead body but still we know the evidences how we got it 
and next where we are seeing yeah ornaments is over now we shall come to the implements implements you comes Co copper smelting was known see here already we know that if they know bronze alloy making means they know the smelting process and these things microlith tools were most highly used and also people were unaware of bronze okay next we shall come stone grinders millers hammers were used for processing food actually unaware of bronze but in certain places they were aware because it is valley civilization where it clubbed with the these locations and this period has been are developing so in different location it will be different conditional we cannot exactly go to the particular location and mention what is it and next trade if you come to the trade ahar giland nagada navdatoli aran prabhas rangpur prakash daimabad and inamgon these are all the places where trade is been highly prevalent you must know the trade centers where it is high and next ahar where a copper tools are highly uh, found these are all the region and region related tools that has been found so ahar is a place you can find copper tools and next tekal kota here you can find a gold and ivory is been traded jorway is a place where pottery is been traded and rajpipla is a place where semi precious stones has been traded and next we come to the religious practices worship of mother goddess and bull was highly prevalent you know mother goddess where it found and how it was found and next it is bull this both has been worshiped during this period fertility cult was practiced fertility cult means uh, mostly they uh, pray to the male and female sex organs and like that this has been highly prevalent and female figurines of clay either backed and unbaked so female figurines and these things has been found little bit but we cannot exactly say the religious culture of them with just a basic evidences that we got but we can assume these are all the things happening all together there next agriculture actually this had developed a settled system and villages has been developed then automatically their agriculture will be highly flourishing so we can come here here we can see that black cotton soil zone has been highly found we know that cotton is been cultivated by chalcolithic age in chalcolithic age so black cotton black soil is most uh, sufficient and helpful for the cotton growing so this is the most thing we know next crops if you come to the crops cultivated both kharif and rabi seasons you know that summer cropping we call it as kharif and winter cropping we call it as rabi so in rotation now what is we are following this has been lost developed in a chalcolithic age itself next we come to the cereals cereals if you come such a barley and wheat is highly grown we know that and pulses is also been developed what are all the types of pulses that has been highly developed if you come to that it is latins black gram green gram and grass pea these are all the different types of crops has been developed by them people there and next they also read buffalo goat sheep pig for food and next they neither plow or nor hoe has been attested to chal okay there is no any plow evidences this has been found in a chalcolithic period and also they found some stone disk and digging sticks which are found so which means they were digging underground of fruits uh, root foods these things they would have collected and next we shall see about burial let me show the image here how the burials has been followed during this chalcolithic age see here along the burial they had buried many equipments and what are all the things they had used so it is mostly they believed in future life like that so that only they buried the things along with them see we shall see here burials how it does it proceeded if you come to burials chalcolithic people believed in life after death that is the thing i showed in the image and explained they thought in future they will rise again and live again in a new life otherwise they thought after that they go into the another life see now still we believe in this system how does that it had been started is from the previous past ages only like this system has been started okay now my dear friends we shall come here dead used to buried irrespective of habitations in their respective habitat where you live there they bury the dead close to the area or some the same habitation they used to bury and next see here friends this is the most important thing you must be remembering what is it i'll zoom it a bit more see here buried in north to south position in maharashtra in maharashtra wherever they buried the people they used to bury in north south direction but fractional burials were found in west bengal west bengal they used to bury fractionally and next east west direction south india in south india you can see the burials to be east and west directional they bury the people and feet used to the 
uh, also they feed they used to chop off the feet why because they will be returned from the next world so in order to stop them from returning from the next world their feet used to be chopped off this is a blind belief they used to believe from the old stages and infant and small children were buried in pots and with mouth and they will be closed and also five urns of peace bottoms were found in dhaimabad these are all the evidence we had learned during the chalcolithic period okay friends now we shall see okay next slide if you go we shall see chalcolithic sites present here southeastern rajasthan ahar is a place where you can find there are no stone axes or blades were found which means they completely converted into the stone age to metal age so they completely completely changed into metal age see here ahar is a place where they completely converted to metal age and next we see here eastern india chirand burdwan district and midnapur these are all the places where the chalcolithic evidences are found next western madhya pradesh if you can see see in midnapur they found fish hooks also in western madhya pradesh you can see malwa kayata and erang and these are all the three places in malwa they found spindle whorls discovered which means the cloth cloth making and the skills has been found in malwa region kayata region they found 29 copper bangles and unique ac unique access there and also we shall see uh, necklaces of semi precious stones has stiat stiatite and carnelian beads has been found by west madhya pradesh and this period and okay we come to western maharashtra jorve where they found copper access re rectangular copper access and these things has been found navasa daimabad chandoli remember this daimabad will be important place during the indus valley civilizations and next copper chisels is also found here inam gaon it is a place where they found evidences of rice during the chalcolithic period and figurine of mother goddess is also found in inam gaon inam gaon remember this place it will be important next nasik and navdotli these are all the important places of chalcolithic sites and ages okay friends what are all the things we see in our next class is ivc and how the indus valley civilization these things keep watching and also important things whatever the thing we had seen we'll be seeing about indus valley civilization how they live all the buildings and everything in next class okay kindly kindly like share and subscribe to our channel your support is my strength students are my strength and i will be teaching more topics more clearly more detailedly in future regarding all topics whenever i complete the conventional syllabus i will move on to the daily current affairs classes also with your support i will develop more topics more subjects friends okay friends thank you what whoever sub supported me thanks for them and those who are contributing to our education world where we build a bigger world here i am working as a one person your donations of 1 rupee also means a lot to the many people okay friends thank you education is the best donation i can make through myself you can if you to your capability thank you thanks for watching spv education world together we create a better world signing off yours sp rajan thank you thank you my dear friends